Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I've got a very special episode of Under the Hood today with the 2016 Subaru WRX STI. This has the powerhouse motor that's just been a favorite of enthusiasts for quite some time, over a decade to be exact. This is an engine that's been modded, it's been raced, it's legendary, so we're going to see what it's all about. It's legendary, but in large part because it's been around for some time. The EJ257 2.5 liter turbocharged and intercooled four cylinder boxer engine is virtually identical to the EJ255 that first came to North America in 2004 in the WRX STI. Today, it's rated at 305 horsepower and 290 pound feet of torque on premium fuel, which is still commendable, but less competitive than newcomers like the Ford Focus RS, which gets 350 horsepower out of 2.3 liters. Subaru enthusiasts, of course, will tell you 305 horsepower is just the baseline, though, as this engine can be modded seven ways from Sunday to belt out 500 horsepower and more without a lot of brain damage or loss in reliability. That's all good, but we're talking about what's here and now. And that all starts with a pretty tightly packed engine compartment with much of the turbocharger's plumbing hidden away under its large top-mounted air-to-air intercooler. Following the airflow, the intake charge comes in through a large snorkel and into the air filter box. It then travels up and then under the intercooler to the turbocharger mounted down underneath. Air then immediately goes into the cooler and then into the engine through a red intake manifold still made of aluminum. The design makes for less turbo lag with reduced plumbing that would be associated with a grill mounted intercooler. When max boost of 14.7 psi is reached, a boost control valve lets extra pressure off right from the intercooler body. Looking around the engine compartment reveals retro touches like an electrically powered secondary air pump that feeds fresh air into the exhaust system to water down emissions so it can pass smog. Most modern engine designs can make do without one. Also old school is the hydraulic power steering on the STI. Not a bad thing. The belt driven pump does steal a little bit of power but delivers superior steering feel over most electric power steering systems. One modern add to the WRX STI is the sound tube that channels acoustics from the intake track directly into the passenger compartment, something you can really hear and feel almost to the point of annoyance at times. I've read that some owners have actually pulled it and chucked it. The EJ257 still makes do with port fuel injection, which is much easier to modify and also has variable valve timing for both intake and exhaust cams. Do-it-yourself servicing is something that many more owners of the WRX STI will do than most, and in such, service points are all well located and easy to find. Oil check and fill are up on top, the oil filter down under the bottom of the engine though. The air filter is up front and accessible, but takes a little bit of work to get to. Other fluids like windshield washer and coolant, brake fluid and power steering fluid, also a no-brainer. Well, there you have it, folks, for the brief underhood tour of the 2016 Subaru WRX STI. Now, I've got a complete test drive on this car, and you can see that by clicking on the link down below in the information section. Also, click on the big red link here and subscribe to our YouTube channel, because not only do we test drive one or two cars a week just like this, but we have a new video almost every single day just like this one. So stay tuned.